Hi, I'm Michael Posnick from Century 21 Northumberland, and I'm standing on the roof of the Waterfront Mall here in Summerside, Prince Edward Island. I also like to refer to this location as your future development site because the views are absolutely phenomenal. I was going to do this from the ground, however I decided that uh, why not get uh, a look of, of what a development might look like on a nice, bright, sunny day. Uh, so this is basically a supplement to the first video which was done in March and uh, I'm going to take you on a tour of all the views from the mall. Uh, the biggest pluses about this site is we're talking about over 11 acres of waterfront property located right on the waterfront in Summerside. There is no location in the city that compares. Uh, in front of me, which I will show you, is the Summerside Yacht Club. We have a boardwalk that goes all the way from one end of the city to the other and goes right behind this mall. So let's go take a look. The biggest plus and the biggest advantage here to advantage to you as a developer is the fact that it's being offered two million dollars less than appraised value and two million dollars less than what I sold the mall for back in 2006. The mall is just under 160,000 square feet. It sits on over 11 acres of prime waterfront property and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the views from the roof. We're going to give you a complete 360 degree panoramic both in video and still pictures. So here we go. So this is taken right from the uh, corner of the mall looking out in the water. This would be your prime prime view. That's uh, Summerside we see there to the left. See a million oyster fishermen fishing today in the distance. See the boardwalk that goes all the way from one end to the other in Summerside. In the distance we see Scarman's Point, which is a high-end waterfront subdivision. Some farmland on the tip, which will be uh, developed at one point, a long way down the road, because it's under a sanction that can't be developed. Farmland in Bedeck. We see an island that at one point housed a hotel in the early 1900s that burned down coming up to the Silver Fox Curling and Yacht Club restaurant and lounge. You can see the Yacht Club there in the background. Another uh, office building. And the blue building is the Marine School, which today they're conveniently lighting off flares in the background of my videos. So this is the eastern side of the mall, again on the waterfront. What you see in front of you is a brand new bridge that the city constructed to allow people to walk from one end of Summerside to the next. Where else in Canada will you find a shopping center with the loading docks on the water? I'd like to see one other location in the country that's done that. So as you can see, this is the prime development side of the mall. This is Skierman's Point in the distance, which have all been developed into rather nice waterfront homes. They would look directly at the back of this mall. We're looking at some vacant lots across from Tim Hortons that could potentially be purchased as well. Underneath me is the bridge for the boardwalk. We have a, a lot in front of us on the other end of the boardwalk that will be developed one day into an office building, conceivably. And we have the Summerside Bay or Harbor and the boardwalk. Now we're looking back to the south. So the mall would have east and southerly exposure along the boardwalk. So where I'm standing now is directly above the low food and the entrance to uh, Water Street East, which evidently is one of the two busiest streets in Summerside. This is the back of the Irving gas station. Got some vacant lots next to it. Back to the bridge. So where I'm standing now is on the south side of the mall. This beautiful, super sunny day in Summerside. 
view of the island in the distance where the hotel used to be, the Silver Fox Curling and Yacht Club, standing directly above what used to be the IGA grocery store. And in the distance is the Summerside Marine Terminal. And between this blue building, the Marine School and the Yacht Club, is the actual docks for the yachts. Now facing west. Okay, so I'm standing on the west side of the mall. That's the Marine School. Coming up to a two-story office building, which includes mostly government positions and the Canada Trust. It's the main parking lot in the distance, the Harbor Front Theater. Water Street. See Subway. Another little office building. A daycare. And coming back to where the Tim Hortons is just behind that corner. And we'll get to that next. So where I'm standing now is on the uh, probably the most popular entrance to the mall, which is just next to the liquor store, which I'm standing on top of. And this would be probably the most prime retail location, which is located right on Water Street. As you can see, it's a busy place. Okay, so that's it for the Summerside Waterfront Mall. If you're watching this video off-island and you are an investor or developer, but I urge you to take the weekend or take a couple days during the week, come out to Summerside PEI, you have to look at this. If it's only to walk around on the roof, it will absolutely blow your mind what a magnificent, incredible location this could possibly be. My name is Michael Posnick. Thanks for watching and have a great day.